What's up, everybody? This is None Defense on the Grublet account. On the team, Grublet YouTube, and I am hung over. Woo! What a night did we have last night. So it was my very first live stream for the people who checked in in real time. Thank you and hello and goodbye. And we had such a great time. For the people who were unable to attend, that it was it was off the cuff. We were trying something new. I won't drink whiskey all the time, but I definitely want to do more live streams. So if that's your bag, baby, keep an eye on the channel and I'll start trying to work out how to get those done more often. But the most important thing is more or less a daily op schedule. I did not do a daily op video yesterday. I'm sorry for that, but uh, I did do a two and basically two and a half hour live stream. So I feel like, you know, the universe is still somehow balanced. Oh, what a night it was. So many laughs. Oh, so many inside jokes. It's just great time. I can't believe it. All right, so yesterday, we went up in stats. We were 94, we became 93. So, as of this morning, when we checked in, before the op ended, we were 93. Let's go check our stats. We're aiming for better than 93. Stats. Highest leaderboard position, 9-1. Well, that's like two better than 93. Brief celebration. Animatic gunboat energy. Flare and shock. So, there you go. Utter fail. Y'all saw it. Everybody point and laugh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear it. Give me your worst. The worst you got. I'm, I want nasty. I want mean. I want y'all to be as mean to me as I've been to all these other random players over the years. This is your time. Do it now. Get it on video. While y'all do that, I'll work on this. Nice try. Fuck you, Bron. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what you did there. <laughs> nice try. None. <laughs> So there you go. That was just a little example of some of the fun we had last night. Braun is not nice to me. He's never been nice to me. So there it was in the real time moment. And I asked him to just give it to me hard. Just burn. Make it burn. Like pour acid in my eyeballs. And what's he do? He says, nice try, nun. Get out of here, Braun. What are you doing here? What's your purpose on this team? Jeez. <sighs> All right, I hope y'all enjoyed that. So there you go. More live streams to come. Not today, though. Guess what? Heading to my brother's. It's time to reveal that special secret project. Are y'all ready? My brother and I have built a clubhouse. Let's show some clips. So there you go. It's just a little ramshackle shack. We are going to uh, you know, continue to dress it up. And make it, not fancy, but, and I don't want to use the word livable either, but it's going to be nice. Like, we've got some paneling we're going to be putting on the walls. It has a roof, so, you know, that's pretty cool. How many of you guys have roof? Anybody? Anybody? Well, our little shack has a roof, so that's pretty neat. Was it worth all the hit, all the hype? I don't know, but I will be able to do Boom Beach in that shack. So... For this channel's purposes, that'll be my boom shack. So we're excited about that. It will have electricity. It will have it will have some air movement, but we built it in the shade, so it's going to be drawing in cool air from the shady area, pumping it full. Yeah. Anyway, now we're getting lost talking about construction. Whew. Sorry, just some residual whiskey talking. All right. Would y'all like to do an op review? I would. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So, it was a beautiful operation. Um, you know, I had, you know, some mistakes. We're going to be going through that. But generally speaking, everybody did really well. So, we are starting off with Go Broncos. A genuinely brilliant player. Always has a good eye for things. From Colorado, just smoking and sneaking, doing the little bullet shock maneuver. 
He, uh, he, he lost a few girls there, but look at that damage. Like, he almost got it. So, great work there. Go Broncos. Now we're on Bronsoon. This is Baby Bronsoon. I mean, he just, he, he recognized that he had a pretty easy moment at this thing. He didn't get the win, but it's ready. Like, Grublet could have went back there and finished that thing off. He didn't, but he could have. And we all know that he could have. So, great work, Bron. You set that up beautifully. Now, we're looking at Big Bron soon. So, he's going up there with the bullet. Got the mechs to keep those uh, rockets in line. The bombardiers to take out the rockets. Just he dealt with that whole row. That whole row. All right. So now we are on. This is Kamikaze, driven by an Australian. We're going to be running right side clearing tactics on the base Humble Pie. I see Dr. Cavan out there generating zombie mech warrior, me, zombie mech warriors, so that's pretty cool, pretty resourceful. Just going up that side, letting the bombers do the work in the back while the mech warriors did the dirty work up front. So great job, Bron. Uh, despite all the nasty things you and I say about each other, you are a dear friend and you know it. So now we're on, who is this? Am I, like, am I still whiskey? This is munted. Okay, got the girls uh, hiding in the corner there. It's crazy. Spinky. All right. So, Spinky's going to be hacking all three of those rockets. And he managed to get rid of that front shock launcher. Dropping Zookas and just letting them destroy anything that they possibly can. Great work, Spinky. Span drift. Okay, so now we're on Spinkles. So he's going up there. This is some great flaring. I mean, I don't want to have a, a contest to see who the best flarer pound for pound on the team is. I don't even know how we would arrange such a thing. But I do believe Spin Drift would give a good run in that in that tournament. All right, now spin drift, big spin drift, mighty spin drift, prime, spin drift prime, going for the win. He's doing it all. He did all the hard parts, so now he just gets to stand back there and just count on the fact that his Captain Everspark will keep those grapplers more or less distracted while he just does damage. Fantastic. All right, this is Unboomable on Humble Pie, driven by Spindrift. The name Unboomable is an homage to the name of the original, original team that we created all those years ago. So that's his little way of giving back to the community, I suppose, of renaming one of his accounts to Unboomable. I thought it was pretty cool. Like, he could have went with, you know, another a variant on the name Spin, and he chose to do Unboomable. He did that. Nobody told him to. And another Spin. Jeez, we have way too many Spins. Remember, we need monsters, guys. We do not want an all-spin, all-brawn all roster. It's not our goal. So, please, join the team. Spin, we know you're out there recruiting. You keep working on that. You are brilliant at that. He almost let, uh, landed a fish, uh, but the fish, I don't know, he didn't want to wait. He, he left. He, I guess he got, he joined after the op started and was like, well, that's not good enough, so he left. I was like, all right, well, that's your loss, loser. This is Bronze Richard using the Mechadeer combo. Tends to go over here and get these shock uh, shield generators, and he did. So this thing was pretty much ready for uh, victory at this point. Let's see if anybody can come in and grab it. What we got now? Javanese performed by Smoky Crab. Very grateful that the uh, that there are so many Smoky Crabs out there, and that means the real life Smoky Crab is able to keep one here at all times. He is. 
I mean, I say he's a brilliant player. We're all, they're all brilliant players. Not we, they. They are all brilliant players. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just they know what the heck they're doing. I'm just grateful that I get to review it. This is Chuck Litt. So he saw something a little more direct. Instead of going to the left and wrapping around, he saw that he could just sneak straight up there and grab it. So he did it. Uh, his other his uh, other Boom Beach name, we know him as Captain Boom Stick. So I'll try to, you know, for continuity's sake, keep that going. Now we're looking at, this is Don. I see his little rocket wheelchair icon instead of a name. He was Don for many, many years, and now he's Rocket Wheelchair Man. What can you do? This is Sam Bam. Alrighty, Sam Bam. I'm not. I'm in a great mood, so I'm not going to be overly critical. I don't think nece you necessarily spent good time going down to the bottom, but I don't know your situation. Maybe you ran out of GBE, and maybe you, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Generally speaking. If we could have got you there at the top to work those shock launchers, that would have been good. But what was it? Anyway, it's fine, Sam Bam. You're great. You're really coming along. You've earned your spot on this team. Nobody's quite even calling that into question. This is Munted against the base, Javanese. So we saw Smoky Crab begin the setup. Now it's Munt's turn to take a crack at it. Let's see how far he goes with it. Okay, so he's smoked all the way up there successfully. And that's a pop. Great positioning. Great shocking. Alright, C. Derm's cousin. Um, Yeah, so we saw this one on the live stream. We were watching it. He did not get the victory. He did manage to pop those shock launchers. And then position himself to do some damage to the shield generator. Or to the, you know, to the shield but, uh, you know, those lasers started shooting and it took out most of his bombardiers. I think he only has, like, maybe one, maybe two. I'm not going to scroll in. But, I mean, he did damage and he cleared those shock launchers. So now it's easy peasy for a guy like, I don't know, Gus Pistol, for example, driven by myself. So I was so drunk when they made me do this attack. The next few attacks that I'm about to do, like, you have to understand, I was, I was gone. I mean, if you go back and listen, it sounds like I was keeping it together reasonably well, but... Alright, here it is. So this is the one. I definitely should have had this win here. I knew exactly what to do, and just my fingers were not responding to my thoughts in, uh, you know, in a real, real time. But we're dropping over here, getting some gunboat energy, getting the girls in position... Decent smoking, but uh, right there. See that? I stepped out of the smoke. Lost a significant amount of girls. I was ready for everybody to make fun of me. They didn't. Losers. And uh, mm -hmm. so now this is Grublet. And they told me to try the exact same thing. Everybody knew it wasn't going to work. But again, we were just it live and in the moment. And uh, it didn't work surprisingly so ha ha he he grublet's a terrible player so now we're looking at stud he's gathering uh gunboat energy getting ready to do a thing let's go ahead and check him as he does that thing here come the girls i see you smoked that uh power cell over there i'm sure that power cell really appreciates it i'd like to clip in our officer bar brady you know from south park saying move along nothing to see here but i'm not just trying to wrap this one up now bort bort's lining things up for uh the final victories and he got it a uh an eagle-eyed viewer may notice that big sal did not attack on this operation he intended to wait until the morning and uh the guys beat it without him. So, Sal, you got the day off. You got to save a little power, save a little time, save a little stress. Bart managed to do take the whole thing home. But everybody participated. Everybody 
except none defense. Though I did do a good a, a mind clearing, as Don said in the chat in real life in real time. Uh, he said that it was like the the world's longest mind clearing, whatever it was. Because that's essentially when you go back and look at it, that's really all I technically did was cleared some minds. Nothing else positive happened. So we're just watching watching Bart, letting him do his business. He's about to go over here and get this victory. Let's hear it for the girls. Nice position, and that's a victory. Go, go. We did the op. We went up. We had victories. All in all, grand success. I will hope y'all had a good time going through it. So, if y'all ever need anything, please reach out to me. I love being accessible to the people. Man of the people, that's what they've always called me. So, let's keep that trend going. And I want y'all to have a beautiful day. I'm heading out to my brothers because we have to drag that our clubhouse roughly 75 feet to put it in a slightly different area. So we're going to be working on that today. Yeah, we built it in the wrong spot. But the good thing is we built it on rail. So we have the machinery. We can move it. All right, I'm wrapping up. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.